a former senator in the 8th Senate, Senator Shea Hussani, has said the agitation for the breakup of the country by various interest groups was foiled by systemic injustice and impunity by the president, Muhammadu Buhari-led government. Sani added that the indigenous people of Biafra's leader, Nambekano, and the Odudua Republic agitator, Sunday Ibuho, were once believers in one Nigeria before the government became bad, irresponsible, and divisive. The senator said as long as poverty, corruption, and bad governance continued to grow and failure of government became apparent, the bandits and terrorists ravaging the country would also not drop their arms. He stated this on Thursday in Abuja at a symposium titled Minimum Wage on Resolved National Question and Insecurity in Nigeria. Organized by the Movement for a Socialist Alternative, Take It Back Movement, the Committee for Defense of Human Rights, the Socialist Party of Nigeria and the Democratic Socialist Movement, among others. Sheh Usani said, those calling for the breakup of the country were once patriots and nationalists who believed in Nigeria but could not bear the gross injustice in the system, therefore resorted to agitation for self-determination. He said, the revolts and storms you see in this country today are reaping from what has, sh has been shown by the Nigerian political class. As poverty continues to grow and failure of government becomes apparent, you will not see bandits or terrorists dropping their arms. You will rather see people moving to the other side of the divide. Insecurity is not only a threat to the existence of the people, but today, one of the most important factors that is precipitating the agitation for the breakup of Nigeria. I am a, f a believer in the unity of Nigeria and the unity of Africa as a state, the United States of Africa. But there is a need for us to ask ourselves. Most of the persons who today have become a face of separ separatism and breakup of Nigeria were once nationalists and patriots who believed in this country. From IPOP to Odudua Group, from Nambekano and Sunday Ibuho, they were believers in Nigeria. What went wrong? That is the question we should ask ourselves. Today, the military is more interested in constructing event centers, shopping malls, universities, and commissioning housing schemes. You can hardly see a policeman with a weapon without a tape. Sometimes you will ask if the paper tape was part of the Nigeria weapon system. This is how low things have become. He berated the Minister of Finance and the federal government for not being able to justify how the sum of 1.8 trillion naira released to the Nigerian military within 28 months was utilized. The senator said it was laughable for a country to invest such an amount of money on security agents and still find it difficult to relocate and still find it difficult to locate and rescue 30 abducted students in 55 days. Today, in my own part of the country, the northwest part of the country, bandits have become more than the authority and a state to themselves. Almost 60 to 70 percent in Niger State senatorial constituents have been wiped out by bandits. They kill, they terrorize, and displace people from their ancestral lands, or they give you conditions of living 
under the authority and command. This is how the state has regressed, and this is how the government has abandoned its people. Senator Shehusani concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The truth remains that Namdekano, Sunday Igboho, and many others who are agitating for separation and breaking up of Nigeria were once believers, just like myself and you were, were believers, are believers, and uh, might remain believers depending on how things eventually turns out to be. The funniest part of it is that the government of the APC have refused to accept that they are responsible for the decisions of people to uh, go for secession. They seem to be um, responsible for the reason why lots of people are looking at self-determination. They continue to blame past administrations, but the question is, if the past administrations were responsible, then why didn't you know the call for suppression and agitation, uh, you know, became so loud under those administrations? So it got out of hand under this administration because of the policies, the uh, the the ways that this administration decided to take things, and that is just the truth of the matter. Until we accept this truth. Until the government accepts this truth, then we might not be ready to really, really uh, discuss this matter. Take, uh, take for example, the the, the, the wits at which Namdekano and uh, Sunday Buhu have come out to say it is either self-determination or nothing. But before, it was not like this. So it tells you that this government is really, really not ready to address is address things the way they ought to be addressed. And things might continue this way until something drastic is done. And if care is not taken, it might even eventually lead to the breaking up of the country. So at this point, what do you think and what would you have to say? It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold, though. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but um, it, take, it will take a miracle for this uh, regions to accept one Nigeria again. Well, drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.